is very sad. <laughs> Welcome out, ladies and gentlemen, to this RGL Highlander Season 17 Week 5 cast coming up between Froggyland and Somebody Help. I am Zagron, joined by Pickles tonight, and then Dolphin behind the camera, as always. Pickles, how you doing standing in here for the cast tonight? I'm doing excellent. I do not have a match this week, so very happy that I'm still active Monday 9.30. I get to watch this amazing game. I was planning on watching it anyways, but now I get to front row seat. Zagron, are you, are you excited for this game? Yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting one. We've got PL Vigil tonight, Froggyland and Somebody Help both currently on the playoff bubble. They're seated fourth and fifth right now, respectively. And Froggyland, things are getting a bit dire in the match points uh, race. They're going to need to 2-0 here tonight if they want any potential chance of making playoffs. And even then, some help would likely be needed. So for them, it's do or die. For Somebody Help, you really want to get those match points in here tonight because if you are able to secure any, your playoff spot is basically secure as well. Yeah, Frog is definitely an animal backed into the corner. It it really is do or die, like you said. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they've been doing. I, I played against them in scrims this past weekend. Um they definitely have some some interesting strategies. Uh Froggyland, well known for their third forward hold. It was uh, quite the terror in previous seasons. Hoping that they can uh bust out their secret strategy today. Um, and then same thing with help. They've they've also performed pretty good in scrims. I think both of these teams pretty evenly matched at Vigil, I want to say. So definitely looking forward to a close match. Hopefully that is what we get. We have teams loading into the server. We go and run down the rosters real quick. Starting out on Froggyland, going to be Technomo on Scout, Catalyst on Soldier, Pyrus on Pyro, Chief on Demoman, Jack X on Heavy, Exa on NG, Cats on Medic, The Star on Sniper, and Construed on Spy. Meanwhile, for help, Biffle, Scout, Sunny Soldier, American Pyro, Country Toad, Demoman, Caboose Heavy, Constantly on Engineer, Fleeble on Medic, Mountain Sniper, and it looked originally like Hino might have to play spy you know the sub for help but their main michael lele is in the server he's ready to play some game tonight speaking of players in the server i'm seeing dc killing spree in the server and his name is not on this list so i'm wondering what he's doing here i i, I think he's on froggyland's backup list i'm not sure but we'll have to see if that if, if he stays in i see chief is here so i'm not sure if they're gonna need a demo sub but you know, the team's getting that roster stuff uh, figured out in this pregame, but yeah, we've seen both these rosters play on cast a couple times this season. Or Froggyland one time, we saw it last week, where they got their asses handed to them, you know, by, uh, I think it was Squirt Yay? Who was it? It was on, uh, Squirt Yay. Yeah, on Asheville, and that was the first time we saw Froggy on cast. Me and Alto had an interesting time talking about, like, how we thought this team would be. You know, they were coming in 3-1, and one, pretty high up on the standings, but after they got beaten so badly, it, I'd say stock in the team is pretty low at this point, especially because they are backed into a corner match point wise. So I'd say I'd call them underdogs here. I think that's fair enough from my own understanding, if only slightly. Yeah, at the same time, though, help is not doing much better for match points, uh, especially as they have a week seven match on Steel versus Witness Gaming. Witness Gaming, of course, the number one seeded team. So this is definitely, uh, I want to say the more winnable match. Definitely the match that they're, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's my reminder to record my demos. Um, yeah, uh, help. They are seated above. They're at 32 match points right now. Um, so getting a victory definitely would secure them playoffs uh, for tonight. Um, especially if week seven uh, not looking as winnable as tonight is. Yeah, and uh, for, for help, you, you want to get the easiest points you can to get across the finish line. And like I said, I, 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 I rate somebody help as slight favorites here, if at all. So even if you can just get that one match point across, that, that'll be enough for tonight. You, you feel like that their goal is just to play as well as they can on Vigil. You mentioned their Froggyland are a strong vigil team, but somebody help no slouches themselves either. So hopefully this is a competitive one. Maybe we go all three rounds. Maybe we don't. Vigil either goes three halves with 10 minute holds every time or five minutes, five minutes. And, you know, you never know what the length of the match you're going to get is. But predictions are up on the screen right now. Slightly lean towards somebody help. I, I, I agree with that. You know, I mentioned slight favorites in my eyes, but 
Yeah, d definitely for them, one match or one round is the goal at minimum. Yeah, me personally, I'm saying 2-1 help. I think I think that help, I would call them the better team overall. Uh, I would also, dare I say, the, the more coordinated team. Um, they, they really are firing on all cylinders for this season. Uh, but at the same time, though, I, like you said, Vigil, always a, a bit of a question mark. It's such a snowball map that uh, I definitely think Froggy Land has a real chance at at least getting one half. Uh, possibly more, because if they're a team that really starts to get things clicking and start getting the ball rolling, then they're they're unstoppable. Yeah, Vigil kind of the opposite side of the spectrum as a Swift Water in that regard. Where on Swift Water you have a lot of chances to establish your hold and squeeze out precious minutes to make it a doable time, but on Vigil, one big mistake on second compounds, and all of a sudden you're holding last with you know three minutes or four minutes on your defense timer. So. Snowball round is definitely possible for Froggy. They're going to hope that they can get those, get a couple of those in. Uh, we do have uh, Exa restarting his router, so it's going to delay our start time just a little bit. But Thailander, nothing new. So we have five minutes before the match is supposed to start anyway. So it's going to be waiting on that. Uh, looking down these rosters, we've seen a lot of these players on cast, all of them uh, at least once and multiple times this season. Who are you looking at for uh, both teams? We'll start with help on the, the key playmakers for tonight. Uh, I'm definitely looking at Sunny. Uh, Sunny Bombs definitely been bountiful this season. Uh, I feel like he he's always managing to find a, a ton of damage, if not one or two kills. Uh, and Mountain as well. Mountain's on an absolute tear on Sniper. Um, meanwhile, for Froggy, I think Construed. Construed, he's a bit of a uh, a streaky spy, if you will. Um, but spy is one of those classes, and Payload's one of those maps where. You can go 0-5, it doesn't matter. You get two big kills, your team wins the point, you're the hero of the of the story. Um, as well as, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw in Chief. Uh, you know, Demo Man, obviously super important. And I, I really want to see if Frog is able to keep Chief alive. Um, if he can lock out these doors. I think this is definitely a big pressure game for Chief. Do or die. Definitely, and I want to put the spotlight uh, on Biffle, of all players. Scout on Payload, typically not the hard carry that used to seeing him do on Koth, but Biffle really uh, got my attention earlier in the season when I, I questioned on cast if he'd be able to step in uh, to Emmy's shoes and kind of fill that scout, that scout carry spot and pass the test with flying colors. And even though, again, Payload not typically scouts home, home turf, Scout can still do a lot of work in exchanges and fights on flank and just being a nuisance around cart. So I, I think Biffle can have a lot of huge game impact here. As it does look like Exa is still loading back into the server. So nice, we have to kill more time. My favorite part about casting Highlander. Yeah, I love Highlander. I love this game so much. I love Team Fortress 2. And I hope that both teams have fun. And isn't that what that's all about, really? Yeah, having fun. Lord knows there's nothing else left in the dead end game for us, but yeah, either way, just definitely looking to have some fun here tonight as the season is winding down. And you know, it's very likely that we have our final uh, playoff spots locked in. Maybe not the exact seedings, but we'll have the four teams uh, competing in the postseason decided, barring the, the Froggyland 2-0 and some help from other teams across the league in the next week. I, I think... When something like this happens, this is more common. I think last season we had a really interesting dynamic coming in week seven where the playoff spots were up in the air and that makes for a lot more tense final week. The matchups matter a lot more. People are looking across the league, but I'd say this is more towards the norm where we kind of do figure out those last spots coming to last week. And that's why next week I'm going to be asking Dolphin for the MST Friends cast. Please <laughs> give us that cast, please. I, If nothing else, I just want to see it. I just want to witness. I'll, I'll do my best for the convincing there. I'll, I'll make sure Alto is on, in on that one as well, because it, it's, like I said, very unlikely that the playoff spots are going to shift too much from here on out, and they might even be completely decided. If there is no big uh, matchup that may decide, like, a third versus fourth seed, uh, then, yeah, maybe that MST Friends cast is going to be coming. It's been a while since we've done the, the, the garbage bowl at the end of the season with the bottom teams, but it's always something you kind of look to do if those playoff spots aren't in contention. Yeah, but this, like you said, like this is the, the last big match, at least. This is the last one that kind of determines things. Um, 
I I kind of wonder how they're they're getting into or if if they're nervous at all. Either of these teams, I I think maybe helps feeling a, a little loose. They have a a bit more wiggle room in terms of their their the higher seed right now at least. Um, but Froggy Land, are they are they feeling the pressure of this moment? I hope not. You know, they they definitely are backs against the wall, but. I have a feeling that they're just going to end up playing their game, and if it's not enough, you know, call it on the season. I'm not exactly sure what their comms are typically like, what their team atmosphere is like, but I, I feel like the stakes are very known here, and what they have to do is on the table. I think if things get dicey in round one, they do take that round boss. It'll be pretty... It'll be like the, the calm after the storm, where you're kind of just taking in the damage. You're not too upset about it, but you're just trying to make it work. As I do see Exa has gotten back into the game, I got the notification on my Steam pop-up, but now I'm getting word from Dolphin that apparently Katz is having lag issues. So, still trying to sort out these server problems, these internet problems for you guys. 15 minutes has now passed, so now we're late. I'm gonna have to give these oh, teams great. an earful. We could go duck hunting, that's right. I see Dolphin has the medic duck and the heavy duck in the spawn. Typically that's Alto's bit, is finding all the ducks. I don't even know how many total spawn on the map. Is it is it nine? Is it one of each class Dolphin? Do you know? I assume yeah, it's mine, class. yeah. Yeah. So we have the medic and the heavy. I'm gonna be looking around for some ducks. I'm sure Dolphin's gonna try and cam those as well. I think Dolphin has certain duck cams. There's the engineer on the rooftop. Actually, is that the engineer? The sniper. I can't find any. There's a soldier at last. Is it in the the one the Rathers? Yeah, I see that one. Wait, I might be new. I I actually can't find a single one. They have a set, like a set number of random spawn points. I, I, I've not memorized them all by far, but I found yeah. the demo man. Ooh, where's the demo man? I'm, I'm at, He's at the the forward spawn for offense at last, like when they're pushing. Forward I found one. I don't know about these teams. I know that my team. We, we've been doing this thing the entire week where we're we're crunching the numbers of, well, if this team 2 O's and then what if that team wins 2-1, but if they lose 1-2, then we have to win 2-0. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of guess and check. Everyone's got the spreadsheets open. You know, if if the moon is in this phase, then uh, <laughs> Froggy Land needs to win 2-0, but if, if it's a Thursday, then uh, they only need to win 2-1. It has been years since I've heard of Highlander and Thursday in the same sentence. <laughs> back back in the day, your teams would scrim on Thursday. You scrim five and days a, a week. Thing. <laughs> it was a full time job. Yeah, these well, kids I, these days, they don't know. I guess that cuts down on the potential outcomes. You know, only one day has to be accounted for. But yeah, we do have uh, teams loading in. X, uh, he was in for a second. I saw him in spectator, but he is disconnected. So unfortunately stalling for a bit longer. I believe we're up to like five or six ducks, but eh, I'm kind of tired of duck hunting. This is the best part of the Highlander cast is when you actually are late and have to keep talking about nothing. <laughs> I've got something I want to talk about. Literate. Okay, I didn't. I kind of, I was hoping that I would think of something. I haven't. Um, I like this map. This map is okay. Yeah, we could talk about um, Vigil a bit. Yeah, yeah. Vigil, it's, a, it's a snowball map. It's kind of annoying at times. It's annoying when you're when you're losing horribly. I'll say that. Um, oh, actually, wait. This is a valid thing that I want to say. A lot of these teams have been practicing a, a more aggressive first hold, which I'm very intrigued to see how it will work in a match setting. But every day this weekend, uh, I saw teams putting the sentry gun up on the flank side, and their teams would just be playing around tracks area, just hoping to to stuff the hill and stuff tracks. Their sniper could play a bit back, and he could snipe out tracks, and you could po uh, poke his head into hill. Um, and then their their flank played very heavy in the in the far left house. Um, I I wonder. I I know both of these teams did it in practice, so I wonder if they will continue to do what they practiced, or if they might fall back onto the the usual tricks of just kind of playing it a little passive, giving it up pretty quickly. Yeah, um, I do remember that forward hold that you're talking about. I remember, uh, I think it was Witness last season playoffs tried to break out, that out, where they held a bit more aggressively, you know, have their combo kind of hold near that log, centric on watching flank, heavy taking a lot more of an aggressive stance on the rock. And from what I remember, it was pretty effective. It's 
pretty safe. There's very few things that can actually cause a disaster on that. Spy's almost never a threat. At worst, he saps the gun. Uh, maybe your heavy gets picked off and you have to back up early. But there's a pretty safe backup route, you know, just around the or around the cliffside into that hut. You get to jump out window. So I think it's good that teams are looking more into stuff like that. Because a lot of these maps, while the meta has been established for a while, you know, Vigil's been in the game in the competitive rotation for a few years now. It feels like some of the meta has kind of stagnated where more things probably can be researched and attempted, but teams are so used to their ways where, you know, the same strats, the same holds kind of come out. Teams are just so used to holding passively on that chain link fence and backing up whenever that card gets forward. Those caps range from like 40 to 50 seconds, maybe a minute. But, you know, if teams can get an extra 30 seconds to a minute and not have a disaster happen, you'll always want to squeeze out those seconds. Yeah, like you said, I think the meta's been stagnating, and I think uh, this is kind of a, a result of teams saying, well, we always lose to these guys, but we always try the same things. How about we How about we try an aggressive forward hold? Maybe that'll be the, the secret that we, we've needed all along. Yeah, and we have gotten word that we're going to be swapping match servers here. I've noticed, uh, in addition to the X trying to load back in, Biffle's had a timeout, uh, Cats has been lagging, so gonna switch server hopefully that fixes things who knows maybe there's a classic tf2 ddos going on but i doubt it i think the server's been relatively fine just a couple of players having connectivity issues so yeah it's gonna be swapping server let me see if we have that info yeah we do i, I think, think this so. match yeah. is haunted i think i think someone has placed a curse who would it be that has cursed this match who, who doesn't want either of these two teams to have success here tonight? Who wants them to stay over as long as that possible? Um, well, usually it's like wizards or pharaohs who are placing curses. Um, none of those exist in the TF2 community, to my knowledge at least. Um, I will say Spoo. I blame Spoo. <laughs> That's always the good fallback. Also known as Paharo. You all know him. Love him or hate him. Most of you hate him. But you have heard of them. Yeah, as we are getting loaded into the new server, hopefully we can get things started here. It is now 11, or no, that's a six minutes past the 45 expected time the Highlander normally has. So hopefully these connection issues do end up getting resolved. Watch they get resolved. We waited for a 25 minute to start the match, and then we get six minutes, six minutes for a total of a 25 minute uh, map match anyway. It would be funny. I, I think above all else, I would be able to laugh if we sat here for 25 minutes talking about Vigil, talking about my day. My day was great, thank you for asking. Uh, and then we just had a, a very quick match, you know. And these people could get to bed at around the time they were expecting to get to bed on Highlander Nights, but... Yeah, just waiting for the teams to load back in. Looks like Froggy has gotten everyone in successfully. We'll see if Help can do the same. That's the first contest here. Whoever can keep nine players in the server just gets an implied match point. I think everyone here should just get a, a big scolding. Yeah, we gotta sir, scold the game servers, honestly, at this point. But we take what we can get. Listen, if, if Valve is not going to help us out, someone has to take the scolding. I nominate Michael Lele. He's done something. I don't oh, know what. It's Get always them. the spy mains. They're always crafty. They're always like 5'7 in real life. Well, you know, I'm 5'9. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> I'm bad. My fault. My fault. I take it back. Oh, good. Ooh, new map load means new duck locations. I see Dolphin's been seeking those out. I don't know how much longer I can talk about ducks, though. <laughs> Alright, word from the Dolphin. 45 seconds till the start, the long-awaited start of this Vigil match, week six, coming through. So thank you all for waiting patiently alongside us and listening to my inane ramblings, but we're going to get into it soon. That's exciting. Zach, I forget. Did you give a prediction? I said 2-1 help. Uh, I think 2-1 help is a pretty favorable uh, prediction. I'm going to go with 2 one help. I've, I've been leaning their way, uh, but I do agree that Froggy definitely can get around through with a good snowball. They have the talent, the players, the level capable of doing so. So, yeah, 2 one help is my guess as well. We're agreeing on the desk. Something that does not happen normally with me and Alto on the desk. 
as ready up is through we're gonna be getting into vigil thank you all for waiting we're gonna get started here froggy land on blue hoping to get a push going somebody help on red trying to stop him let's go i'm i'm excited i'm pumped i'm i'm excited for this we're seeing help they're rolling out you know we, we have a minute uh to kill once again even more time to kill no crit um, stickies no there's crit stickies okay Going on that right shutter, the insecurity stickies, the damage pad stickies, whatever you like to call them. We'll see if anyone gets funnied by those. Typically, it's the spies, which they deserve it. But <laughs> we'll spies, engineers, occasionally a scout, mostly the first two. Gotta pad the stats somehow. And Constantly's gun is on the more passive spot. It is sitting by chicken wire. Um, Interesting to see just how aggressive help is going to be holding. I can see 15 seconds to go, and they're still pretty forward. I think the gun might be used more as just ground earned ability to fall back if needed. Yeah, but Caboose, Mountain's going to be peeking as well. Yeah, Caboose not standing on that rock head glitch kind of indicates to me they're trying to be passive. Mountain gets his cheesy uh, gate drop kill on Technomo, so card a little slow to start out, but not going to be too big of a deal. We see that on the flank side. Something helps uh, duo Biffle and uh, Sunny Arg just gonna back off, see that space with like uh, as much easily as they can. Construed in the back lines. Ooh, almost got caught, but good jukes to dodge those uh, flames. Catalyst the cloak on the corner. Good stab by Construed gets the sniper immediately. So we're gonna jump up. Catalyst, good rockets tries to displace them and help will back up. Yeah, it's an immediate gift from health. They're much more concerned about getting a solid second hold. It's uh, agreed upon is the, the much better hold, a lot easier to hard hold it. And Frog, they're just going to take first, nothing crazy. Uh, we saw Jack <laughs> X peeking. Kongshu was just rolling out, holding mouse <laughs> one, and bumped Micah on the cliff side. I watched that in the Dolphin cam. That's actually big, because no spy able to call this sack that's coming in, trying to get this Uber out of somebody help, but really good positioning from Fleeble is going to be in that spawn shutter, completely safe from all the bombers. So sack came through, but not really going to get much in the end. Now first gets capped up, one minute time on there for Froggyland. We'll see what they want to do with their own Uber charge. Looks like they're getting pretty aggressive through tunnel, buffing their players up. Micah is back alive, watching to see who goes where. And with the demo and Medicare, you gotta imagine they want to Uber out. Yeah, lots of people in this tunnel area. They are gonna take the Uber. It's on Chief and Technomo. Immediate pop out from Feeble. And neither team really getting too much, except actually Chief goes down to Caboose. Caboose with the Brass Beast, actually. <laughs> Hey, he and had a good th flash there from Fleeble to keep him alive. And he's going to stay healthy. Rain down hell. These brass bullets onto the cart. Pyrus and Technomo doing their best to try and edge it forward. But a headshot onto Consta is going to make so this gun can't get wrangled. Any spam will take it down. But it is doing damage for now. Catalyst dead. Cat's dead. Look at the back line. Michael Lele finding a huge 3k onto the entire combo of Froggyland. That's going to stop this push dead in its tracks. It's a total meat grinder from Michael Lele and Caboose. Uh, every single person from Frog came out of the main tunnel there. They're hoping to just bust through that door, but as soon as they do, they met the Brass Beast, which slowed him down just enough for Micah to get, what was that, three kills? Three yep. chain subs? And now Fleeble has full out. Another bomb for from Catalyst. They're trying to get aggressive off Uber time here, but Fleeble already has a super charge. They're going to pop it alongside the banner. Those two overlapping as the conch. As bomb coming in from Sunny, trying to do damage, but Cats get bumped into the sightline by the rocket. Mountain takes the medic kill, and that's a great defensive Uber coming out of health. Yeah, still a lot of people dead from health. I'm wondering if Frog is going to try and get a little aggressive, but they don't really have the spawns. A lot of these people still rolling out. Cats spawned up only at 15%. So Fleeble, once again, keeping the ad uh we did in that uber sunny jumped forward they got they desperately needed that pick michael Lele was trying to crunch them but he wasn't able to so glad that mountain was it's able like to equalize by country toad into the center gun and the cheek getting a headshot no scout no demo this push is pretty much dead in the water there's gonna be a w1 from american walks forward kills catalyst helps get the rest of the squad killed tons of damage coming through and they also found cats once again so this uber getting delayed from froggy so much somebody helped doing a great job on the second point showing that giving up first is worth it if you can hold like this so, so frog frog's not just botting in they're 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 trying to say okay you have ad but you don't have uber so what if we just took a nine-man fight but they're not really finding a lot of success with these t uh, hill pushes. They're not really getting out of the door. So they're all eating the same damage. Mountain's picking them apart one by one. Uh, this Brass Beast, which is still alive, getting a lot of kills. 
Chief falling onto the gun, hits it with some lock and load shots, easily takes it down, but look at Caboose on this dispenser just still raining down hell with the brass beats on a 7k this life with that gun. He doesn't matter if he can't move, everyone comes to him, so he's just racking it up. That was just a sack play to kind of see what they could get. They got the gun, they got the cart tapped, so now Cat's up at 85% Uber. This is going to be the second, I'd say, fully even attempt coming out from Froggy here. Yeah, Caboose basically a second sentry gun right now, but Frog, they have Uber. I'm wondering if they're going to go for the tunnel play again. They're whiffing at first. They're looking like they're going to try and take hill. Chief's starting to peek up. He jumps forward. They use... He's a little disconnected. Fleevil does use the Uber. Chief trying to get all oh of God. this Uber onto the sentry gun. They find Pyrus and Technomo. They get too aggressive. Chief gets taken down. The stickies from Country Toad. Catalyst as well cleaned up. Frog gets absolutely nothing out of that. They got the Ubers, but that's about it. Yeah, that was the saddest Uber I've seen in quite a while. They kind of jumped forward... They, the, the sync jump was there, they tried to take space, Technomo got dropped, Pyrus couldn't get a flash, died to the sentry gun. It, it was just a mess. In the back lines we saw Catalyst was in there alone, he got singled out, and then Demo Man died on the house. It really felt like no damage went down to help that entire push. And now, gonna have to be a dry attempt again from Froggy, jumping up, but a great reflect is gonna skybox that silver, and he needs a headshot on the way down. Catalyst getting rolled, but Fleeble is dead! Sar did find a kill onto the enemy medic, so even though they did lose, Pretty much every player they could have on that sack, they will have Uber for the first time all match. Yeah, Sar definitely salvaging what was uh, otherwise a not a super great attempt at a at a sack. They jump through tunnel, immediately skyboxed by the sentry gun, but Sar definitely trying to bring his team kicking and scratching into this second point. This Uber will be coming up from cats in just a second. It is used in the main tunnel. They flash a lot of players, but they do end up busting through. They are going to be able to get this point and help running back to third. Four people die in the transition to third, though. Yeah, that medic pick from Star buys them the second point they were trying so hard for for the longest time. Almost six minutes already on this offense for Froggyland. Gonna need to keep the momentum going, but Fleebolt did get out thanks to the help of that Conqueror from Sunny, so Uber add back in the favor of Sunny Help. We'll see what they can do on this defense getting set up. Construed is in the back already. He could find a really good timing so Jack here. Axe. Jack yeah, X Jack is peeking X. from drop down. Construed and Jack X both gonna go in. They don't find anything though. They get Consta with a backstab, but that's really it. Uber coming out on the front lines is gonna wipe a lot of players, including Cats. Gonna end up getting taken down by Sunny. Sunny always finding these med picks when he needs to, so Sunny Help. Just winning Uber Leapfrog again, gonna have another add, and they stabilize their defense. This this half just, it seems like Frog started off on the wrong foot, and they're just not able to pick themselves up and, and dust themselves off. It's just constantly misstepping one after the other. Cat's dying again. Honestly, the, the Ubers are even, so that's that's at least a good thing, but... Construed uh. in the back line, has a good decloak, looking for it, but gets flared through by that uh, pyro. Sar gonna go down in the SPS as well. Jack X trades in the back line, they get Bipple and Sunny, but the flank classes are all they find. Mountain standing tall, gets the kill onto Pyrus here. It's about a 5 or 6 for 2, so Sack not that good for the side of Froggy. And I feel like they didn't know their Uber was actually that good, and they went for a Sack play, because they weren't even Ubers, but now they're at 20% dissat, so they just kind of assumed they were building slower because of the Cat's death. Yeah, Fleeble started out with like a 20% add, and then somehow it evened up around 50%, and then Cats didn't have anyone to heal, Yeah, because really, they sacked. Because they sacked. So, Cats coming up with Uber now. They're walking towards this ladder's position, and the Uber does come out. It's mostly onto Chief. High bomb for Sunny. So much damage. Gets the kill on the Saw with the help of Micah's revolver. They're just getting shredded back here. But there's Construed in the back lines, finding the medic tank. That one should open the floodgates for Froggy to walk in. But they're taking tons of damage. They are getting some kills now with their leftover players. The heals so many are so hurt. impactful. Yeah, so many of these people on help are hurt. I do think that they are going to have to give this up eventually. It's just... No, never mind. Mountain. Actually, Mountain gets the kill onto Saw. Yeah, Deadshot's Chief that... on the cart. That just busts everything open. Chief stays alive for so long, buys time for Jack X to get there, but it's just the heavy weapons guy. Caboose gonna get back up on the cart here, shreds this soldier, takes down Catalyst, will go down for his trouble, but gonna buy the time for the respawners for help. They've stopped this cart from moving up the hill, and now this is gonna have to be a soft reset for Froggy, unless they wanna stack it with their respawn advantage. They're gonna try, and it- Oh, it doesn't get up the hill yet! Sunny's back in! He's doing damage, but American eats the reflect rocket and dies. This should be the third cap. 
Yeah, Micah gets the kill onto Exo. It's a consolation prize. They do eventually get third. Uh, the reason that that was so tough is because every single time that they were on that cart, it just barely didn't get up the hill, and then it rolled all the way back down. And that's that's 5-10 seconds every single time. It's just such an awkward spot for the cart to be in, and they're they're coming up short every time. Yeah, almost 9 minutes on the clock, 2-3 for Froggy. It's not looking good, but a sub 10 minute time is still somewhat salvageable if they are able to one shot this they do have an uber they're able to go cart is getting 2x up to that final bend here by technomo as the combo gonna walk in to flank here looking to find that exchange but cats drops pipes over the top from country toe find their mark and cats just completely drops that uber and now defense gonna be full up here with the sentry gun with the uber they have everything they need sap onto the gun is gonna help chief take it down dry push from froggy has to come out they want to force this uber but they can't get deep enough help's just hiding help is just hiding right now yeah, this, this is, is very really awkward they're, they're gonna have to use eventually otherwise the cart's gonna get up too, way too much banner technomo's on the medic people does eventually use their strength to chase these players out who are on cart Exa actually gets the cart uphill <laughs> yeah, for got it up. some reason uh and look at Catalyst. Uh, dude this is so awkward it's so awkward it's such a strange spot and Fleeble actually goes down Froggy that has too. spawn out Frog's and teleporter. They're going to keep funneling players in and they're actually going to get this 10 minute time. I said they were looking for that and they did get it across. That was a super chaotic fight. As you were saying, from the Uber drop from Cats to the force in from Technomo Catalyst bombing in post, that one was crazy. And it ended up being about as good for Froggy as it could have been considering the preceding points. Yeah, it definitely, it was a good last somehow. Even if <laughs> your medic you dies, drop, yeah. your, your medic drops, the the problem with that is help was hiding on that right side way too much. They have Uber, they don't want to use it, but you have to peek eventually. Yeah, otherwise you have to eventually... solo, solo pushes it up the ramp by himself in the face of six players. Yeah, uh, that being said, first three points, excellent. Nearly nine minutes through three points, pretty much all you can ask for. Uh, so, help definitely still advantageous, even though their last was a, a bit of a hiccup. And Frog, looks like they're just, they want to get set up on this left side. I see Chief and the, the Dispenser on the left side. Exa now bringing the sentry gun up with about 10 seconds to go before this offense from help gets live. 10.03. Yeah, this is that forward hold that you were mentioning in pre-game where teams looking to try and deny some more space on first, squeeze some more time out, and 10 minutes, it's doable, but it's not easy. So I think that if this hold gets started out well for Froggy, this is their best chance of making a comeback in this round. They're going to get the opening kill into American, that pyro the victim of the sticky bombs. So he, he's been stat padded, trademark. As we see Jack X playing on this head glitch, what I was talking about, uh, Caboose was not doing on Help's defense. You kind of just have your heavy hangout here, be a big 450 health wall when you can be, deny space, get support from the crossfire from your sniper. As we do see an early uh. from Help into flank, that is strange. They just immediately take the overcharge. No! American walks forward and right clicks the medic off the cliff. Okay, I have never happen. seen that happen. That can't ever. happen. That can't happen. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so it starts with a pyro uber. Which, in my opinion, never a good sign when you're trying to get a sentry gun. But he just keeps on going, and Katz is just a sitting duck there. That is Can't so really many stop people's fault. That is so oh many different god. people's fault. I feel sick to my stomach, Zach. Oh my god, yeah, that is disastrous for the side of Froggy. Their Hub's forward getting aggressive. gets wiped off tunnel. immediately. And yeah, help jumping through like you're saying. They're getting some kills. They got Technomo, but the rest of the players are just denied early enough, so... Frogland will try their best here, but because of Katz's cliff death, Weevil has a 40% uber ad. I, I can't I can't believe that. I'll That's never get over that. Dead. Chief dies too right before the Uber is gonna come out. Weevil 95%. Micah gets Sar as well. Uh, they're just over hill though. They don't have to pop to crest the top of it. They're just gonna pop that Uber run to spawn. X is level 2 is the only thing out on second, but he eats a headshot. He's dead. Construct gets a sniper and a pyro as consolation, but Froggy, they don't have anything here. They don't have any space at all. And despite 90% Uber, they cannot contest second. It is just gone. Eight minutes left to get the last two points. Help are looking undeniable here. I'm very glad that Help wasn't greedy. They they had the big Uber ad and they said, let's just use it. Let's just get second. We have nine minutes to go. We we don't have to try and hold it out. Oh, yes. and speaking of greedy. That. Yeah, yeah they, they walk forward. They play underneath in that... Uh, 
underneath underpass to the backside. Maybe it's getting collapsed on by the banner here. So Froggy gonna full wipe the full forward force of Somni Help, but it, it's small peaches at that point. They've already gotten second. The card's being pushed anyway. Worst thing that happens is you lose your Uber Charge, so you're just gonna have to start that one from scratch. Will take you about 20 to 30 seconds longer than you were hoping, but they do have that time, so we'll see what they want to do here. Aggressive play from the Froggy defense here. Playing forward on third, like you mentioned again in the pregame. Star has a long angle here. If he can shut down Mountain, it'd be huge. The SVS might pop off any second here. Yeah, this forward for Frog really, really favors it. And the key to this one is going to be drop down. If players can get behind for help, which we are going to see they're working towards that right now, but Catalyst spots them out. That's the that's the main thing that they need in order to break this this forward hold. Um, but otherwise, Frog is just going to look forward and they're just going to destroy you every single time. They have the high ground, they have the deep angles for Sar, and it's very 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 oppressive. Uber charge coming through window here. They're trying to get deep here, but really good denials from Pyrus is going to keep them stuck in that choke. Caboose, Biffle, American all going to drop in short order. The collapse is great from Froggy, and this forward hold starting to pay dividends already as we're into our first pause of the night as if the pregame delays weren't enough. You know, dare I say it, is this pause because help wins third and Frog needed an attack pause for, uh, a five minute last hold it could be for anything that the attack pause is always a, a possibility but personally with all the connection issues that that have been happening until i get confirmation yeah it's a crash um, from what dolphin's saying so technical issue not a tactical one as I, I do want to talk a bit about this third hold that's coming out here because this is what you mentioned you know froggy plays third more aggressively than most teams of their caliber do and it's already shown to be working out very well you know they have that immediate stuff ready from pyrus the collapse is ready. They just walk forward into this uh, offense, trying to push through the tiny window. And you mentioned you want to see more teams try to use drop down and get a gr or more uh, players rather from help try to use drop down and take more space. But there, they just funnel right into Froggy, and it works about as well as you'd expect. Yeah, the the good thing about this forward hold is the the gun and your sniper can watch main, and it's already such it's so far for the demo to try and spam the gun. It's just so, you're so disconnected and far away from the defending team. So they're kind of shoehorned into this window area, but at which point you have to use the uber first, and then what do you do? Where do you run? You just fall backwards, and Chief is going to stick you off and kill you because they have the better uber. Um, it's it's really, you need a lot of coordination to, to really grip this and, and crush it with your hands. It's going to take a lot of coordination. They have to first deal with Catalyst, who's watching this drop-down area, and then they have to get players behind, and then they have to actually bust the position open. Either that, or hopefully, maybe someone finds a lucky kill. Maybe someone on Frog makes a mistake. Uh, I, I got a little nervous there when that Uber came out, because Exa was the first person to die. Exa and the sentry gun went down. I uh, made one of those noises. I, I grimaced just a little bit. But the unpause comes out. Mike Lele is actually in position. Goes down. Unfortunate. Mountain gets the kill into Sar at least. Yeah, that SPS is big. That sniper denies so much space on this fold. And as you can see, help just walking forward immediately now that they have space to work with. Really well timed banner coming out from Catalyst here. They're going to try to push this offense back. Country Tower immediately just killed by the scout. Scatter gun can shoot, will die in the back lines. But taking down that demo man is huge for stalling this offense push. Going to find enough time for Star to get back out here. But it doesn't look like help have enough control of blockers. If they want to keep trying to walk forward here, American dead though. Really great stick is from Chief. Yeah, help still trying to really squeeze anything out. They get some damage onto Cats. Cats oh, surfs it out. Chief. Chief barely manages to escape. It's a crucial player to keep up here. We'll be able to keep trying to spam up into this corridor, but help full control of the window now. And then be looking to push out here. Pyrus or American getting some space. Will go down for his troubles, but he has bought that space. Jack X dead. Caboose pushing out of lockers and they force the Uber immediately. Help gets cut as much as they want here. They do lose Caboose and Consta though. So they're just fighting five players. They're going to make this Uber happen. Gun gets sapped. Really good play there from the spy. I hear a banner coming in. Froggy going to try and recontest this once they start to get on cart. Yeah, the Uber fades, and Chief gets the first kill onto Bintel. Fleevil sent way high into the air, craters by these stickies from Chief, and the rest of Frog is going to start swinging. We see Jackaxe walking onto the cart, mows down Consta, kills the gun as well. Sunny jumps forward, able to find Jack, but nothing else of significance. Mountain gets the kill onto Chief, though. 
Uh, there's the pause. It came in out of there 90 seconds in the future. So now full live. We see Flea Bolt only on 30% Uber. Cat's up on 60 here. Somebody help. We're going to try to stack the cart with their respawn. See what they can do. But Country Toad dead already. No Devil Man able to stop this. Hill. Pyro is having the time of his life. WM warning down Flea Bolt and America. And that's a medic pick for the defensive Pyro there. Yeah, a lot of people dead from Frog, though. I'm wondering if Help is able to get their numbers in time to actually really heels. do anything. Sunny jumping high, but <laughs> immediately scouted out and destroyed by the sentry gun of Exaflamer. Uh, Country Toad taken very low in main, and we're in a, a neutral position. Frog in the, in the driver's seat, they have Uber. And now we're at the point where the forward hold is broken, but it definitely got a lot of value. They're on a regular third hold now, they basically get two thirds. And speaking of a lot of value, you know, we, we looked at that 10 minute time at the start of the round and we're like, that's pretty hard, maybe it's possible. They've already wiped off six minutes on that clock and they have Uber out here. They've looked good on third. So with one more good defense on each of these points, this one does come down to the wire. So we'll see what Somni Help can do to try and swing things back in their favor. They are gonna walk out flank side here, get their sniper set up mountain, looking for an entry, hits the heavy uh, 150. Jack will need to go eat that sandwich. In the meantime, Uber for both teams. Brackets is the push choice for help here, but they are stuck. Pyrus is doing such a good job right-clicking them into this choke. Yeah, much better Uber for Frog, and they are going to be ending on this cart area. Chief laying down a couple sickies, what but is Frog Fubal? actually dies too. Fubal's one gets that small pack, and Frog over-indexed into trying to get this pick. They're going to lose four players, and now they have almost no one to watch this choke. Sar gets the kill into Micah, but with Jax getting sniped down, there's no HP, they're only three up. Froggy, they looked so good there, but they overextended a bit too far and lost so many. And they're going to lose third just like that. Three minutes on the clock. Yeah, Frog overheated. They got two overzealous. They had the much better Uber. They had a better Uber by like two or three seconds. But they overchase. They overstay their welcome. And it punishes them horribly. Fubo now on 80% Uber. About 30% add and helps already peeking into last. They get the first call to construed. Chief's eaten a lot of damage. He's going to have to back up to get heals. Yeah, Uber now up for Fleebull, gonna try and get Country Toad some kills here as they're on the front line. They're gonna pop immediately. Pyrus doing his best, get some good effects down, we'll trade his life for it. Country Toad eats a headshot, that was a really great one to get that demo man down, so now they will try and re-establish a defense here. But with help getting that kill to Exa, Gun not able to be moved up. Micah has a decloak spot, he is gonna get seen and harrowed down by Cat. so Cat's able to keep this full Uber. Construed gets a crucial sap onto that level 2 sentry gun, and now this defense should be able to get some more space with their spawners. Caboose is in a sus spot. He's eventually snuffed out. Okay. He was very aggressive on the right. I'm not sure if uh, Frog was aware that he was there, but he is killed. And now Frog full Uber add, two minutes to go. It's getting a little hairy, Zagron. I'm not sure if I'm liking how this is going for help. Yeah, that said, the pick on the Kallus is a big one. We've seen him pop so many crucial banners out. Now he's gonna have to charge one from scratch with not much time left. Help taking this top right side. They get Sar with a sticky snipe across the map. That sniper no longer available. They're trying to get aggressive here with this Uber help or frog. They're trying to get into help and they take down Country Toad. Pyro gonna go down as well. It's Sunny and American good dead. That was a really good aggression, but yet yeah, Uber forced, like you said. And now Flea will gonna have a big ad for the last push of the game. I'm not even sure where Sunny bombed from, but somehow he, he lands behind Cats. Excellent jumps by him. He actually can jump, despite what you may have heard about him. And he gets the force onto Cats. A minute to go now, Flea will on full Uber. If if they get this push, then they're good. If they don't, it's it's over. And you have full Uber ad, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, Medic walking in here, Jax is hiding. Will force flashes out onto this pyro to save his life, but in the meantime, Uber about to end here for help. They got the cart up to that ramp. How far can they push it up? Soldier coming in, Sunny, trying to do some damage. Hits a lot of it, but no kills. Weeble, dead. Sark hitting that snipe onto the medic, but how many kills can Froggy get? The answer is all them. Catalyst coming in with a big 3k on the black box. Keeps the fight alive for Froggy, and they're going to get their respawns up. Cats, 75% Uber gun taking down, and carts rolling down. Yeah, it, it seemed like it started out so great for help, and then both teams immediately start trading out players, but... Frog is not the one who has to have someone staying on cart full time. Help, unable to really get everyone in because they need the cart time as well. And there's 20 seconds now. They're just going to sit close to these doors. Stephanie doors out. 
Yeah, Help is taking the fight. Right. right click button. Froggy should win it, and there is the Uber coming out. Even though there is a 7v7, the shiny players on the cart are too much to handle. Consta, Fubal, gonna go down. No kills for Help. They're trying to look at the kills. Damage coming in from the demo and the scout combo. Sunny with the ball, man. It's a 1v3. No, Exa has a sentry gun, and it's just good enough. The sentry cleanup gets three, and <laughs> Froggy Land clutched that one out by the skin of their teeth. What the hell? The level one gets three to clean up. Exo, the last man standing on the cart. And that one, that was a chaotic round. We mentioned we wanted a close one, but that was better than we could have hoped for, honestly. Yeah, definitely an entertaining one uh, between the, the, the drops and, you know, players. It seems like they're, they're doing great. And then all of a sudden, three people just die. Catalyst gets some big kills. Sunny gets some big bombs. Everything's all over the place. It's it's a mess, but it's one of those messes that you want to watch. You, you want to watch you because you're just like, who knows what'll happen. I'm it's, I'm yeah, blown it's a, away. It's a mess, but it's a beautiful mess. Logs up on your screen. Chief and Country Toad both hitting 500 DPM, 20 kills, and you know, low deaths comparatively to their teams. Both them and played extremely well. We see Mountain 24 kills. You mentioned Mountain's been on a tear. Really showed up in the server, especially towards the end. Unfortunate that. His team couldn't get it across the line. Yeah, for the most part, a lot of these class comparisons very, very even. Uh, Frog, 120 kills to helps 130, and help about 3,000 damage more in that entire half, which I want to say it's pretty negligible. Nothing super crazy. So the log's definitely showing that both these teams are, are pretty evenly matched. Yeah, yeah uh, nothing nothing super crazy, really, now that I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, no, nothing really stands out other than Mountain just kind of going on a tear and Construed having a bit of a rough game. But both these teams, the logs notwithstanding, it's a very even match. That one came down to the wire, and it really just felt like the team that made the, the, the crucial plays at the crucial times manages to just eke out enough seconds. God, from how that round started for Froggy with Cass getting air blasted off the cliff on first... Oh, winning that one must feel like a, a sigh of relief. Yeah, I, I'm i going to be thinking about that tonight. I'm going to be thinking about that tomorrow. I'll think about it the next four or five days. Every single day I'm just going to be... Man, remember when Cats got air blasted off? Yeah, that was crazy. So many things have to go wrong for that to happen. First, if you do, if it is a Pyro v Pyro Uber situation, your Pyro on defense has to get completely out air blasted. After that, your medic has to like kite the wrong way so they get angled towards the cliff and not towards the back out and on top of that no one has to like be shooting the pyro to kind of stuff the shiny player as they hold w i feel like that uber started out not super great for help either they, they take a pyro demo into flank and they're, they're shooting a 600 health gun and it's from mid-range so they're not even doing like that much and somehow it ends with the pyro air blasting the med off the cliff. I can't wrap my head around it. It's I I lost for words. I'm I'm shocked. Yeah, and even more shocking is how the rest of that game played out. Froggy made up the bulk of that time disad with their third hold. You know, that forward hold came in clutch. They had so much space. They won so many exchanges. They forced somebody to help to really work hard to get that time back. And even after that, they managed to get another minute, minute and a half off the clock retreating to a normal third hold. They did make a mistake with the overaggression, but in the end, didn't cost them. You can't really fault them for playing how they planned on third. And as long as it got them over the line, I'm sure that's all they care about. Because right now, with that 1-0 lead, Froggy's season is still intact. Yeah, things definitely definitely looking up if you're if you're 1-0, especially if you pulled it back after a, a not super great start to the half. You know, the, the, the 10 minute time, not really what you're looking for, but you hold for 10 minutes and now you're feeling pretty good. Uh, so Frog definitely has a, a bit of that momentum going in. Definitely going to be uh, pretty pretty happy with the, the ending at least. But I'm sure right now they're talking about what can we fix about our offense? How can we make sure that a, a 10 minute time doesn't happen again? Yeah, and for every uh, ascension in the mental state, there has to be an equal but opposite reaction. Somebody help. Uh, it must feel bad having the 10 minute time, having such a good start, then just kind of getting flatlined towards the end of the map, bleeding out. Remember, the, the, somebody help only need really one round to have a really good spot at playoffs. If they do win the match at the end, even if it's uh, two to one, their spot is nearly locked in. So 
Uh, it must feel bad to give that one up. That said, somebody help. They, they've been in situations like this before. I'm sure they'll be talking about how to bounce back, but... Oh, yeah, that, that, one, that one's a bit of a punch to the gut. Yeah, really, it, it, if I'm help, I'm mostly looking at what do we have to do to make sure that we break that third hold. Uh, the, the first two points, they were doing great. They, they got two points in two minutes, and... You know, maybe they, they chalk up the last two. They had some time pressure. They were they were kind of nervous, maybe. They made one uber mistake. But the, the third hold is really where they, they lost the majority of that time. It was about four minutes, four and a half minutes. And it was the forward hold that they were struggling with. And then they had a pretty chaotic fight with Froggy Land's regular hold. And it, it really, it only came out on the, the favor of help because Frog made a mistake. It's not necessarily that help did something good, it's that Frog did something wrong. And if I'm help, I'm trying to think, what is it I can do to make sure that we can break this hold? Or what can I do to make sure that they can't get that hold set up in the first place? Um, they they really need to, to analyze their, their offense right now and talk about how can we make sure that those disasters don't happen again. Yep, the heat wow. definitely turned up on somebody help as the ready up is through going to be getting into the second half of this vigil matchup froggy land getting to run back on defense somebody help trying to do a bit better this time on offense we'll see what they can bring to the table especially on third because honestly i feel like vigil right now is kind of split in two where froggy land have looked better on three and four and somebody help have looked better on one and two we, we've seen pretty even times across the board both teams making good plays making mistakes so uh, I think the team that's able to shore up their mistakes, like you're saying, will have a really good chance at getting another one on the board here. If it is Froggy and they get that 2-0, that's exactly what they need to keep their season alive. But if it is help, you know, we mentioned you want to get the easier match points on the board if you can. So you don't feel real bad if they let this one slip out too. My prediction, we just had the 10-minute the offense and 10-minute defense. This this half's going to be sub-6. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's going to be one. it's going to be blazing pace and... It's just going to be a complete, completely different game. Catalyst reminding the... everyone that he loves you guys. Thank you, Catalyst. Pull some out from Catalyst as Gates going to drop here. Looks like Sam Holt coming out from Froggy. They want to be on this log, this cliffside with their gun. Hopefully Cat doesn't end up eating Pit this time, but I doubt you'll let that mistake happen two times in the same match. Yeah, as... surely. Yeah, America, American dies to the stickies on Shutter second round in a row, so I wish you like face checking those. Yeah, Technomo dying. It's scout on defense first. It shouldn't be uh, too big of an issue. And help starting to get mobile on this far left side. They same Uber coming yeah, same out. Uber. It's a demo pyro. They get the sentry gun out. Pyrus is going to deny that, and Cats wisely not backing up towards the cliffside. Both Ubers now gone. I'm just and... back in so much damage, they did not expect the repush. The two stickies instantly one-shot Cats, and they get so many kills. In addition, Pyrus, Construed, Technomo, all dead. It looked like the second that Froggy backed them up to, into the choke, they all just like, oh, they're gone. We don't have object permanents anymore. All it took was for them to walk back in for help to wipe the defense. Yeah, they, they really lost track of where help was. I mean, even I lost track of where help was. I thought they would rotate back to tracks, maybe. But no, it's the re-aggression onto the flank. Sunny jumps high as well, picks up two behind them. And now help com has complete control of second right now. They're all on top of hill. Frog is going to be walking tracks. Sar losing the SES, though, does not bode well. They do have the banner out, at least, to force them away. And Mountain's going to go down to Construed. Yeah, Sardet as well, so no snipers available on the board, but with people having this Uber already, it looks like help <clears throat> want to go over the top. They are going to pop their Uber. Sentry gun taken low, but going to heal that up right now is Exa. Yeah, Frog is kind of shoehorned into this tracks area. Catalyst jumping through. Gets some damage, but not too much. Americans in, Americans in, and Sunny's in! Oh my god, it's so perfect. It's so excellent. Uh, I'm witnessing perfection right now. Help jumps forward, totally collapses on all of these players who are hiding tracks. Frog is two up. It's Exa and Jack X hoping to hold third at least for a little while until the cavalry arrives. Michaelele is already on third, spotting it out, and help slowly but surely mobilizing onto this Windows area. Yeah, Froggy can't even get forward here to do their forward hold on Jack third X is hiding. Here. Oh my god, no, they know too! Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Jack X in a creepy corner, caught out. 
and Sunny and Micah are now getting into white lobby as well. So Frog, danger on both sides. Yeah, Sunny Help coming alive off that collapse onto second. They're willing to get this snowball going nice and early. Cart pushed up to that bend here as Mountain. Great headshot on Chief. Defensive demo down. No one can spam the cart walking up the hill. It has to be Pyrus. No one else is even here to stop from rolling up, but Froggy have nothing. And Pyrus is going to try his best, but he's going to die. And that's third cap immediately sub three minutes. You called the six minute round. I want to point out. I, I, I really hope they get it just because it makes me feel smart. <laughs> um, help starting to peak main. They do have Uber advantage. Catalyst trying to stuff the doors, but the There's Uber going. does come out, and the sentry gun is denying a lot of space. Country Toad sent very high, Catalyst but they can't. How does Sunny get into the spawn? Oh. This unflashed 24 HP, two rockets on top of Katz's head, and there's no heals for Froggy. Their chances made to disappear in this round. No, Ooh. dude, what the? Sorry. Yeah, what Fubo is Sable doing? Ding in the window, just gonna get shredded by Jack X. All of a sudden, it, it feels like Help kind of forgot there's enemy gamers in the server. Oh my God, Fleeble backed up into Victor, then peeks back yeah, in. Indeed, in it. But Jack X is just there and shreds her completely. I, I nearly swear, I nearly swore, I caught myself at the very end. But what the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. That's a, that's a big mistake. You, you can't have that happen. But Help. Walking into this flank side, Country Toad and American, they are already so forward. Eventually spotted up by Technomo. This sentry gun is actually taken very low. Yeah, full flank control up here from the combo of somebody help. They're gonna take down Pyrus and Jack. That's Pyro heavy down. There's almost no combat classes available here to stop onto last. They're but having fun. They're, they're, they're stuck in. Yeah, Kinshu dead as well, and the spy in the backline. Micah onto Katz, not gonna be able to find that backstab. Tries his luck with the revolver, but will end up going down. Cart going up that final hill, but there's Chief with the damage coming through, taking down American. Cart gonna roll back down for now. Uber call for the side of Katz, but Fubo 95 can't get that last charge, and they will lose another Uber here. And Katz gets to hold it too, getting up the pop. Therefore, gonna try his best to get the force, but can't get through. Gonna get denied, and still this Uber. Cart can't get Eventually up, they're gonna pop is. anyway. Yeah, Cat's hiding in the far right corner, occasionally called the death corner, as uh, it will often lead to your death. Eventually has to use the Uber. Help, they salvage it, but it's it's so weird because they, they get really aggressive, they get very forward, and Frog's hiding the spawn, but then they aren't able to get the card up. They and then they there. just back up. They, didn't, they aren't able to really get anything of, of note. It seems like they're always so close. Mountain gets the kill onto Pyrus. They now have two kills. And the and gun. Surely this leads to something. Sunny jumping deep into spawn onto yeah, Cats. Catalyst it. is there to eventually stop, but it's way too many players who are forward now. Caboose is aggressive. Danny is aggressive. Or American, rather, is aggressive. Construed onto Cart. Delays it by a couple seconds. 519. There you go. Boy, do I know TF2. Yeah, sloppy towards feel, the end, but you're never going to be very upset. Yeah, I feel very smart. Yeah, you're never going to be upset at the sub six. They uh, call me a prophet. Yeah, as you accurately called the sub six coming out for somebody help there. Really impressive. You know, we'll ignore the, the gaffes on last there because it, it, at the end of the day, that's not nearly as big of a deal as what they were able to accomplish on their first uh, couple of points. We saw that second clap was beautiful, as you were saying, and they just flawlessly snowballed through third, got all the time they needed, even if that could have been like a, a four minute time, 520, like I said, nothing you're ever going to complain about. And now, somebody help prime position to even this game up at one apiece. Froggyland have to come up with an even more blazing time if they want to uh, make the two a reality, but uh, if this one does go in Help's favor, Froggy, th their season's not looking good anymore. I would just like to point out, uh, Help player Michael Lele has claimed that his game is in Dutch. That's strange. You aren't Dutch. You don't speak Dutch. Why is that? Watch the VOD back and answer me in DMs later, Michael Lele. I need answers. Mike Lele gonna walk up to flank here. He's playing Cloak and Dagger, so gonna be that calm spy. I remember he got backstabbed out of spawn last time on Cliff, so hopefully his first death doesn't come in nearly as unfortunate as a way. Gate's gonna drop, Chris Sticky's cleared out. Biffle gonna immediately combust to Catalyst Rockets. They're on flank. The rest of the players trying to get forward here, and flank gun coming out from somebody help. They had it more defensive in the first round, but no one's kind of playing behind it. This is likely a Rescue Ranger pull. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah gun gets pulled. Not looking for anything super crazy on first is help. Yeah, this is very high. High ball. Oh no. Country Toad gets sniped by the SAR. Pyrus as well with the uh, the detonator, I believe. Gets him down to uh, 140 or so. And he gets body shot. So definitely not what you want to see, but it, I don't think it's going to matter too much. 
uh, doesn't look like frogs really in position to do anything. They are getting super aggressive side. Posture, yeah. They don't have heals there. Cats still on first. Michaelele is aware of it as well. And they are just going to group up onto the cart. Get it real push nice into tunnel. Nothing, no presence hill actually. Everyone is tunnel. Yeah, they're going to immediately pop Uber out of tunnel, but with that snipe on the contru, no one can sap the gun. It's going to stay alive for nearly the entire Uber. As counter comes out from help, they're going to herd these players back into the tunnel here. Chief going to go down. The only casualty in that entire exchange, so not the worst for Froggy here, but with other dome men, going to be hard to repush. His spawn is fast. He'll be out here in just a second, and with only four minutes on the clock, if you are Froggy, you need to get this one through now. Yeah, pressure starting to build up. You, we're getting a little bit aggressive into tunnel. Chief is there, Cats is there, but Country Toad doing a pretty great Big job banner. of throwing these stickies onto the ground, denying the cart. And Frog doesn't really have too much. Micah. Michael they picks up two as well. So Frog doesn't really have any business in this right now. Yeah, Banner gonna end. Flea will now up on 100% Uber, so it did its job in delaying, as did Micah. So now with 3 minutes 20 seconds left on the clock, it is dire for Froggy. You gotta imagine this Uber has to be the one, otherwise they can kiss their chances of a 2-0 goodbye. Construed is here in the shutter, waiting to go in. Uber in onto the level 1 gun. It's not gonna do very much, but the rest of the players are getting spread out by this Uber charge. Construed Pyrus gonna drop in short order. The remaining players trying to get in here, but they're getting cleaned up easily as somebody helped collapse onto the hill. Yeah, so much damage onto Frog. Even these players who are getting out, Technomo's hurt, Cats is hurt, Cats actually goes down to the detonator from American. And Technomo might bleed out as well, or burnout rather. And he does at first. So American with two late kills, but two important kills. The scout on offense, not able to touch that cart. And help again stabilizes two and a half minutes to go. And they have add. Frog yeah. definitely maybe getting a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'd say they're past nervous at this point. It might be getting close to hopeless because they don't have the Uber to work with. They have to just walk out dry and hope something works out. Construed not able to get the sap onto the gun. He's dead. Chief is dead. Catalyst is dead. No explosives here. Caboose has the Brass Beast. Consta has the level 2. And that is just 7 players instantly giving for Froggy. Yeah, if I'm Frog, I'm spending the last 2 minutes just talking about the last half. There, there's, there's nothing really for them for this half, unfortunately are going to be hard held on second, or maybe third, maybe they can get second. But, uh, yeah. Cats coming up on Uber, it's... I want to say it's dead time, I'm not even sure if it's possible actually, even if they have times through the whole time. It's definitely mathematically possible, but it's one of the situations where if help literally just respawn help and needs to run with their disconnect. melee weapons... Yeah, they have to kill one. If help runs with their melee weapons to cart, respawning over and over again, they will win the round, so it's pretty much dead time. It's going to be a last second push for bragging rights for Froggy, say we didn't get held on second. Uber Exchange going to come over the hill. Pyrus on the cart, will get taken down. It's just Chief Jack is X behind. here. Chief is at the other team's spawn and the sticking shutter. Oh, that's so awesome. I love this video game. Yeah. yeah. Mountain must Mountain. be feeling real good about that one. You, you just got shown who's boss. The boss is Chief. He will burn out. This is so sad. All right, yeah, so American Micah is getting the new his, free, his free medic kill for the logs onto Cats alone, backing out. So, yeah, with a minute on the clock, this is where you get into not mathematically possible territory. So, it is gonna be the one-one for somebody help. You know, this is kind of dead time, kind of fragging time. Pad your stats. This one's all tied up. You, you mentioned for Froggy, talk about what went wrong. I do believe the teams are not swapping from this configuration, so Froggy gonna have to run back on offense immediately after this. If that's the case, I think that... I, I don't think it's too bad for them, because you basically didn't even get a chance to play offense with how badly your defense went. You felt rushed the entire time. You felt like you're constrained in what you can do, with the kind of plays you can play for, so... I, I think this one's gonna have to just be like, get it out of your mind and try running it back, because... We saw 10 minutes, both sides, on the first round, that one being the, the sub-six, as you accurately called, so... Now if you're froggy, you just want to hopefully get anything because you figure you can do better than six on defense so at least try to push eight next round yeah i was about to say i think uh i think frog got an eight minute time and i think help cap with uh i'm gonna say 150 to go i'm calling it like i'm babe ruth i'm actually pointing to the crowd right now <laughs> i'm not sure if you could hear but i actually just moved and i'm pointing to a corner in my room i have some albums hung up over there point well, we'll be looking for that froggy eight-minute time. In the meantime, going into the half, 
the final halftime of the vigil match one to one piece somebody help being absolutely dominant in that second half sub six offense stonewalling froggy on defense it, it looks like a completely different team compared to what happened in round one and if you are froggy I think the main thing you have to analyze is your defense, where it fell apart. You did so good in the first round, but then you just got completely steamrolled. And I, I really think just it all starts with that second collapse onto them as they were trying to back out. Because Froggy's, the bulk of their defense time came from their double hold on third. If you get wiped that hard on second, you're not getting to play your best part of the map. And how do you win at that point? Yeah. It's definitely the, you know, the best way to counter that is to make sure that they just can't get set up on third at all. Um, and I think it was it was Jack X and Exa who were alive, and they can't really do anything. They have a, a pretty immobile heavy and a very immobile sentry gun. Uh, so the, all they can really do is hold third regularly, try and get some times for their spawns, but their spawns are staggered. And it's, it's, you, you're, you have no business on third, and... They again lose a couple players on third, and then their last their last was okay. It got you know two and a half minutes, pretty pretty regular. You know help. I think they failed the first push and then they got the second push. Pretty standard stuff. But if you're help, you can afford to have a pretty standard last push when your first three pushes are insanely fast. It's like I said it as it was happening. It's perfect TF2. It, it was excellent. It's every single person's collapsing where they have to be. Everyone's looking at the same place. They're all coordinated and they're all looking at the, the same thing. I, I can't judge Froggy on their, their offense because... It didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was rushed and they had time pressure. If they don't have time pressure like they do, like they will have in this third half, then could be a different story. Yeah, I just want to shout out there on the logs that were on the screen uh, with Sunny top damaging the server, top fragging the server, top deathing his team. That's the live fast, die faster. <laughs> Tons of game impact from Sunny there. The banners as well were crucial. Really great. I shouted round out the boy. The what can I say? Yep. Playing phenomenally in that one. And now with the final half approaching, it's do or die for Froggy Land. You gotta imagine with the maximum of six points in this match going their way, if they do win, still likely going to be outside of that playoff bubble, but you just want to get as good of a chance as you can even if some miracle has to happen get that win on the board see what you can do and they're gonna be putting their all into this one coming into the last half yeah one one i think uh it's it's one of those things where if help wins they're like fine whatever who cares great great job for us if frog win then they have to start calculating okay if if help lose 0-2 next week and then we also 2-0, then we win. But if they if they lose 0-2 and we win 1-2 or 2-1, then it's not enough. So we need to do this. And, you know, it also requires if, if Rib lost half tonight, then it's it's just, it's get, it gets messy. It gets complicated. Yep, you just got to do the best you can to give yourself a chance. That's all you can do. Play what's in front of you. And Froggy, going to be trying for that, are going to be running back that offense. Like we said, they didn't really get a chance to play offense last round. We know they can do a 10 minute. They need to get like an 8 here. If they go higher than that, it's... Even if they do have the amazing third hold, we haven't seen them be nearly as dominant on the first two points of the map. So you, you just have to average whatever you can that you think gives you the best chance. And I think for Froggy, we're looking at an 8. And if they're slower than that, then I'm going to be leaning help. Yeah, I'm thinking Frog might be a little rattled, but... uh. They still, you know, still a competent team. Still going to be shooting for around an average time of for vigil. It's you know six, seven minutes. Uh, definitely, as teams have gotten better over time, that average time has moved back. As uh, as the defense have really started to figure things out. Construed early behind. He's already already plotting things. Already up to no good. And the help team mostly hiding around chicken wire. Not really interested in anything on first, which we saw in the previous rounds. Construed that on fire, they are going to be aware of his presence right now, but look at Saar getting some early kills. No, Sonny, bro. Construed's going to get Mountain, even though he got lit on fire. That is half of health, just exploding, making it more than half, with Micah getting flamed down, and that was pretty disastrous early start for help. They do have the crucial parts, they have their sentry, they have their engineer, they have their medic, but look at Jack X here. <gasps> He's unseen, he has the Thomas Lob, they can't hear him. No, that's not the Thomas Lob, that's the minigun, but... No, it is the Thomas Lob, it's just Christmassy. 
Dude, he's so they creepy. They don't know he's there. This, this is so strange. He's gonna it's... go kill the engine. We push the gun, but they check him. <laughs> they check him. He gets the gun for at least, but <laughs> that, that's the secret agent Russian man play. They found me. I'm so mad. And they take the aggressive Uber out from main tunnel, pop from Fleevil. It's onto Country Toad and Caboose, and both teams they get rid of the Uber. We're looking for a post Construed. now. Construed. Construed gets the first kill onto constantly. He gets a gun as well. Pyrus actually goes down as he gets a little too forward, and Americans in into tunnel gets the kill onto Cats before he gets traded out by the mini sentry. And Cats going down means that this push is dead in the water. Help! They stabilize. They, yes. th that was a little messy, but they they won the push. Yeah, and... super chaotic start there. So that second push from that the secret agent heavy to just immediate uber trade resack back in from Froggy and with American finding that. Medic kill at the end, Fleeple has a 50% add to work with. They're gonna get some stuff built back up. Their NG has to completely build the setup. Construed in, but there's a Silver Catalyst! Nearly gets this double rocket, but Fleeple gonna escape by the skin of her teeth. And now gonna be able to keep that uber charge. Sack very nearly went towards Froggy, but Banner popped out, gonna be able to salvage this. They're gonna clean up the remaining players here. It's just Pyrus left over on the cart. Jack X gonna get sniped down. Banner ending, help. Gonna be able to get this uber. Gonna try and build the sentry gun. Froggy, they're building pretty slowly. You know, playing against him, sometimes I think American is a robot when he bombs in with the detonator, but watching him now, he looks so graceful. He's... He, it's like he too can fly, much like Sunny or, or Country Toad. He's so graceful. Oh, the pelican, so smoothly doth he crest, a wind god. Beautiful poetry, as the poetry in motion is this sentry, this uber charge coming out of the tunnel. Sentry gun gonna get wrangled, so it can't get taken down. Count uber out from the side of somebody to help here. No one dying in the exchange. The Technomo gonna tap that card to make sure it doesn't roll back. With everyone alive, some of your land have to crest over the top of this hill, but they gotta go through so much. But Fleeble's dead, taken down by the heavy from side tunnel. Jack X sniping her on cart, and now the floodgates are open for Froggy to walk in and take this space. It's just a level two and a soldier here doing damage. Country Toad launches some stickies, but with Mountain dead, Caboose dead, they have to leave. Cats up on 50% Uber as second comes through. Decent start, even though they didn't one shot that point. Three minutes, nothing to be too upset about for Froggy. That was very strange. I'm not really sure how Jack got the kill onto Fleeble, but somehow he does it. Really, without the help of his team, Catalyst jumps aggressive, will get taken down. Pyrus and Chief are now peeking behind him. They get the kill onto Biffle out. and Micah, actually. The banner comes out, they get the trade onto Construed. Yeah, that second push was weird, because they, they keep on taking the Uber through main tunnel, and then I feel like they don't really do too anything, and they don't do too much. They don't really do anything in, in the post, I feel, but... Somehow Jack still gets the kill, and that really starts to kick them into high gear. It really busts open the door. Catalyst with the high bomb now, going to be landing onto uh, Biffle, yeah, and they do get the kill onto him, and Uber as well. Just looking to secure this point, I assume. Yeah, but look at this. We have Pyro coming in, American doing some damage. Big stab by Construe to get that heavy off the cart, but American is a wall on this cart, dipping and dodging, staying alive, can't get the arrow in time, but did his job, manages to stave off that offense, but too many kills just went in favor of Froggy. They got Micah, they got Consta, and now with no NG, nothing left. That third is gonna get seeded 421 through three. This time it's Froggy's turn to try for the sub six minute offense. They are blazing through Vigil. Yeah, Fleeple has the add, but Frog has plenty of time to sack. They're only at 50% right now, and they are peeking, and now Sink the bomb. bomb is coming through. They're jumping right spawn, they don't really find too much, do get taken out. And it looks like they might not have been aware just how many people on help were hiding on this left side. Uh, Construed only now crossing, he probably wasn't able to get the comms out in time. And Cat's now 80%. You know, it's it's a sack, nothing, nothing super crazy. Construed found as well by American. Good catch by the help Pyro. This cat's now a 95% Uber help. Or Froggy gonna go cliffside trying to walk this one up the side. Micah spots them out, gonna call that medic is on their way up. So exchange about to come in hot. Sticky's being launched over the top. Caboose needs an arrow, gets that heal. He can get 450 for this push. Indy Hugh does. Uber gonna come out. Jumping through is Pyrus. Gets the Uber Force onto Fleeble. What else can happen in this Uber exchange? Construed not able to get the sap onto the gun in time. Tons of kills coming in for, fraud, or for help. They're gonna get Construed, Technomo, Chief all in short order with Catalyst dead. There's no more explosive threat here. And flawless defense there. No one dies. Sentry stays up. Yeah, Cat's able to live the silver lining at least. Uh, Cat's able to, to pull up pretty early, and it gets met up by the rest of their team. Thank goodness. 
but not. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. They're still on for the six minute time. Yeah, Sunny Dead means no banner can come up for the defense. That's definitely a worthwhile pick. And Shrewd cloaked in here. Definitely wants to sap onto this wrangled sentry gun. Gonna try to jump for it. He, he does, does get, get it. it. Yep, Paddles and there's the rockets the coming. And Shrewd chases his life for it, but. That's worth it. Every yeah, time. Yeah, def definitely worth Now Technolo is getting a lot of card time right now. And the gun is slowly starting to come back up for constantly. Back onto the crate. It's taking a lot of damage, but he's still whacking away with the wrench. Go, Engineer, go. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. Back on Uber Froggy once again going this cliffside. Guns built up to a level two, but Engines and Spawn getting metal. They can get spam onto it before and get wrangled. Sapper back for construed. Gonna take down the setup as Uber is out. A lot of damage dealt onto the combo for help. They are gonna get flashes out to save as many people as the catalyst. catalyst! Then the back lines gets constant, gets mountain, and gets the sentry. Big kills there. Sunny on the back end though trades onto the enemy medics. So hell, a heal advantage goes towards help right now. Even if they are down players, they have heals. It's a 4v7 right now. Spawners in favor of Froggy. Construed gets the tap out of the teleport. Porter will stay alive for now. Jack gonna hit the fists of steel onto the cart. Biffle's dead. Cart moving up that final hill. Pyrus to defend his heavy. They are gonna get it up that hill. Heavy pushing and punch onto the cart. Sacker's coming on, but it is gonna be Froggy capping 707. It's not six, it's not eight, but they're definitely gonna be happy with that time. Guys, I was wrong. I'm sorry. It wasn't an eight minute time. 53 seconds off. How could you? Some, I'm sorry. Some Nostradamus. <sighs> Am I a fraud? <laughs> Like, like seriously, should I just hang it up? I'd say you're one in one for I, time predictions, so... I could open up the window, half. I could throw out my computer and just splat right on the ground. It's... It's not enough. But, for seven minutes, that's enough for Frog. They got, they got a perfectly average time. Definitely happy with that after a not super great offense on the first half. And the second half, they never even got the ball rolling, really. So, seven minute times... They got to show what they can do. And that's, you know, that's good enough. Handshakes all around. Good stuff. Pat on the back. Fist bumps, if you will. Yep, that's the important part for Froggy, is they gave themselves a fighting chance here. And if you are somebody help, you just pushed a 520. 707 is definitely within your realms. So they're going to be definitely looking to get that one through here. Get that 2-1 secured and that match win. It's not gonna. It's probably not gonna come as easy as that 521 did because there are gonna be adjustments out for Froggy here. They're keeping their forward hold set up. Unlikely that Cats goes in the pit again. Yeah, you gotta say that in case it does happen. You can say you jinxed it. Unlikely. <laughs> It'll never happen again. Oh, did you not speak too soon, Zagron? Country Toad. No one does that stickies, by but it's the sticky man who gets killed first after the gates drop. A big kill no country toad able to walk forward and we've seen help do numerous ubers through lower left here to try and dislodge this setup doesn't look like they're too interested off the bat probably because the demo man died immediately but looks yeah, like they're they starting to be going there now. now yeah and they do it it worked the first two times they get the first go onto tech nomo lots of flashes coming out from frog the question does froggy remember that they're there well sunny's high coming sunny's out from high. sunny trying to land onto sar never Second mind jump. back up yeah, gets the kill into Pyrus for his trouble. Biffle on the side, tries to do damage, but Chief is isolated. Kills. Chief's gonna go down actually to American and Consta, and Frog's now running oh, taking watch the mountain. far way. Watch Mountain, he's flanked in behind as Sniper trying to get the pick back up on Hill. He's looking for the medic, but there's no medic to be found. Gets wrenched down by Exa. That is a strange one, but I can respect the attempt. I can't. Bro, what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, I apologize for the, the meanness. We're all, we're all friends here. Haha, <laughs> lol. Uh, help, 65%. Cats, 50%. Pretty much even. Should be negligible. As help is getting very aggressive onto this hill. They've already gotten a lot of space. American does actually go down Technomo being quite the thorn in the side of help. And they will actually eventually back up. Coming up on Uber now. Are going to be taking this Uber onto Country Toad. Sent flying by Pyrus. And Cats just now gets the Uber. Big he does actually step save Pyrus. On Chief there. No demo man can be able to lay stickies behind them, but the rest of the player is doing a decent enough job. Sunny Help now get to walk back in because of the lack of stickies. Level 2 Sentry Gun under fire here by Sunny's Rockets, but will get killed up by X. It gets the Wrangler up, but can't save it any longer. Jack X has to get out of dodge Frog's here. There's so no far more back. space. Sunny's jumping high. I don't think he's going to get anything because Frog is just out. Frog just gives it up. He does actually get Pyrus. And Look at Biffle. Run it up on the on the sniper gets the kill. That is amazing from Biffle. Dude. Just getting that sniper pick in the middle of the entire team. We'll trade his life for it, but you're willing to have that happen because now we look at somebody help. They are already rolling Mountain out onto the flank here. If Mountain can get control of this sideline, help of a great avenue into third. 
What is going on, bro? And one HP on Catalyst gets the pack just in time, jumps out, saves his banner charge. That is pretty big for the upcoming defense. Both meds about to be up on full uber charge here. Constantly has a level two gun by the cart as well. Oh, and it well. actually does get does get taken out before the Ubers. The Ubers do come out. Americans doing a pretty good job trying to catch Chief. Not able to get it though. And Sunny is actually landing high onto the sentry gun, gets one rocket onto Katz, not really able to find anything else. Katz taken out pretty low though, and Americans now are coming back in. Frogger getting so the much kills. damage. Yeah, Frogger crashing onto the cart. They have Kants, they have Pyrus, all the combat classes are dead. Feeble has to run away with a tail between her legs, only trying to loop a charge. A, on whoever's alive, but that's a really good recontest by Froggy though. They managed to regain control of the flank through a soldier and a spy doubling up on mountains, so they are able to get that space back. And now they're gonna try and reset into their forward hole banner being popped out by Cal is really well timed as Sunny bombing and he finds Cass through the banner. Wow, he actually just threads the needle, finds the perfect rocket onto the medic. And I was I was getting nervous because I was about to say, you know, frog on third. Once they get set up, it's it's not that great for health. But just then, Sunny the Heroics finds the medic okay. and they Consta. get a lot of cart time. Yeah, Consta solos it up that ramp. A lot of kills coming in for Froggy here, but the Sax does enough to get that cart up. Uber now coming out of brackets here, trying to kill these players. Gonna hurt them back into their spawn right now. Our help. And with that third capped up, three minutes, ten seconds left on the clock. Help looking good here. They aren't gonna have Uber add, but they got plenty of time to build a couple. It's it's still winnable for Frog. Mm -hmm. I think I think you really only get one or two pushes out of three minutes. So definitely looking to see if help are able to really capitalize off this. And they actually get a ton of damage from yeah, the Kabuto. Very aggressive on the Look red. Sunny! He gets Cavs and Pyrus dominating that Pyro as well. Just Kabuto's going in now too. everyone's head. They're gonna, Sunny's rebombing as well, trying to stuff them in their spawn. It's six players alive. Oh my god, help. heavy on head. No, neither of the heavies notice each other. Caboose just gets completely caught off guard because he doesn't realize that Jack X is right above him. It's so awkward, but what should have been a really great position for health. Neutralized Jack? by the Jack X. Yeah, he repushes and gets so much damage there. Will lose his life in the end to Biffle. Biffle doubling up on the cleanup. But bought enough time for his team to get back out here. Sentry gun, they level have one, regular as Uber comes in for help. They're trying their best to stop this. Pyrus will lose his life for it. Here comes Sunny back in on the bomb. They're gonna collapse onto this team, but Fleeble and Hunting Tower down. down. So pipes. many kills for Frog. The Chief getting so much damage in, and the cleanup is here. Construed gets one with his revolver, and Catalyst finds that sniper, so... Froggy holding on despite everything going against them earlier on. They're gonna maintain control. They're gonna get Uber ad, and they're gonna have time to build this gun. This is looking very firmly doable for Froggy here. Yeah, they have full Uber ad, but they're they're just not really able to find anything. Frog just back up towards their spawn. They wait a couple seconds, and in that time, their their combo of health is just caught completely off guard. Uh, I think I think both players died to Chief. I'm not 100% sure on that, but now help. They're still not really finding anything. Mountain gets sniped out. Country Toad dies to the sentry gun. Biffle goes down. <laughs> Fleeble's on 70% and not in danger of dying, I think. Surely, haha. <laughs> so, a minute to go now. Full Uber for both teams. This is do or die. This is make or break. This decides the match. It's map, or it's round three, rather. Both teams have Uber. And Sart getting a little aggressive trying to peek, trying to find something. But where is this Uber going to come from Frog? Or from Help, rather. Looks, Looks like, like they are walking into yep. the flank area. We'll be spotted up by Catalyst. Micah's in the back now. though. Micah might want to try and look for whatever pick he can to make this a bit easier, but Sentry Gun gonna be not under fire as the, as the Uber comes in. Will get taken down by that Enforcer. Counter Uber out from the side of Froggy. Gonna collapse onto the cart. No one's dead quite yet, but Fleeble, the first to go down. Catalyst will be traded by Backstabs. Their heals are in favor of Froggy, but they are losing some players. It's a 6v5 in favor of help, but no heals. They gotta stack this cart. Look at Chief. Chief gets to do a ton of damage here. Gets the Conta Consta. This Demo Man with the beam gonna tank him up and tear him down. It's just three players left for some of the help here as 15 seconds are left on the clock. It shouldn't be possible for help. There, there, there shouldn't be enough spawners. I think Frog is going to take this in the final 10 seconds, but Michael Lele, he has something to say about that. It's getting ran up by Pyrus. There's five seconds to go. They're not going to be able to touch this cart. It's actually going to be Frog 2-1-ing, defeating help. Their playoff dreams still alive, at least in hypotheticals. And for somebody help, it's, it feels bad to, to fall up short. But it, it definitely feels bad when you look at the 
leaderboard for this season and you're beginning to wonder are you making playoffs are you actually going to be able to to take that step further yeah the one round on the board is a silver lining for some new help they're still in contention but you're not going to know exactly where everyone stands until the matches conclude today and potentially some next week but yeah there's the, that is the 2-1 in favor of froggy keeping their season alive at least for the time being and Honestly, that last half, Froggy really pulled it together. Whereas in the first half, we saw their third get so much value. The second half, they kind of just fell apart. That one felt like the most well-rounded half out of Froggy. You know, even if they didn't get a chance to stuff somebody help on third from the start, they played solid all, all the way around. Seven minute time on offense, very respectable. Followed up on defense, could have likely kept another minute hold going. So yeah, I'd say that's a, definitely a well-deserved win by Froggy. Yeah, and... We're looking at these third half stats. Chief, 17 and 6, 460 DPM. Much higher than uh, everyone else in the server. So good stuff coming out from him. Yep, combined, or no, that's uh, yeah, third half logs on your screen right now. And Sar, Chief, doing their best to get their team across the line. X is 12 and 2. I feel like I see X have a KD every time I see him cast. He's just getting tons of the kills not dying 33 and 14 on the day but yeah that was that was a close one you know all things considered it really came down to really close near i said double overtime uh zero zero on the clock coming up on the first round somebody help showing what they could do in that second but it's not able to replicate and froggy just crossing that finish line first keeping their season alive so again well done by them yeah i feel like these ubers on last for help they they lived or died by Sunny, I feel. I feel like every single Uber that was successful, every single push that was successful for them for last involved a, a huge Sunny bomb where he jumped over and he, he got two big kills onto the, the right side and he, he got a ton of damage. Uh, anytime he wasn't involved or he wasn't able to get anything, help kind of looked lost and they, they scattered and then they come back. And in that final fight, they scattered and as they try and come back, Fleeble gets stabbed. And although they had the, the numbers advantage, they slowly but surely are getting chipped away by Jack X. They're slowly but surely burning out by Pyrus. And it's a, a war of attrition, but Frog come out on top. Yeah, that Jack X uh, kill onto the medic out of side tunnel on second, when the medic stand on the dispenser comes to mind, where just these small margins ended up giving Froggy enough gas to get across the finish line. And yeah, crucial for the context of their season, going to be taking that 2-1 to one victory. I want to I want to know if there's any other crucial results we have in updated on the table yet. But yeah, playoffs are definitely coming down to the wire here. This is one of the results that uh, would have kept things interesting. A 2-1 in favor of Froggy. If Froggy lost, you had to imagine that their playoff chances were pretty much over. But with this, they, they, they do have a chance, depending on how well somebody helped this next week. Run it back. I don't think they're in danger. So as it currently stands, uh, run it back's at 43. So they're 100% solidified, as well as Witness Gaming at 49 match points. Um, somebody Help has a match versus Witness Gaming. They're at 35. Squirt is at 34, but they have a bye week. So they're also guaranteed to make playoffs. So it's between Help and Frog. Help is playing Witness Gaming, and Froggy Land is playing Run It Back. So both of these teams playing versus other playoff teams, the top two teams currently, actually. So it's it's close. If help if both help and frog two zero next week, then help still makes it. But uh, four match points ahead is help, and it's it's really it actually does end up coming down to a a week seven match to determine who makes it to playoffs between help and Froggy Land. Yeah, unfortunately, that MST Real Friends matchup might have to get put on the back burner. As, yeah, the season might come down to the wire for those last playoff spots. But for now, that's going to about do it for us here tonight. That was a pretty good match. 11 p.m. on the dot Eastern. That one ends up ending. We had, I'd say, pretty average vigil luck in terms of the round length. 10 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minutes, you know? Yeah, pretty much uh, what we expected. Pretty much uh, what everyone might have might have seen coming. Um, you know, I, I did not see Froggy Land winning 2-1, but they actually, they played pretty good, all things considered. Um, maybe it, it, you could argue like it required one or two miracle plays coming from the Jack X kill 
on second, but uh, a dub's a dub. Game is game. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and that's going to about do it for us here tonight. Thank you all for watching. Dolphin, do we have any sixes coming up this week? Tuesday, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So next two days, so you can tune into RGL for some sixes action. Be sure to have your favorite sixes casters on the deck. Maybe some of your not favorite sixes casters. Who knows? But yeah, definitely some exciting games going to be coming up as well as our matchup for week seven next week. We'll update based on what we decide to do for that one, which match uh, becomes the most important one will be the one we probably end up doing. But Pickles, anything you want to say? Any shout outs you want to give before we close out? Uh, shout out to Squirt Yay. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Pickles, P-I-C-K-E-L-Z. Um, I love my mom and my girlfriend so much. Um, and you, Admiral Zagron. I wanted to shout out you. Handshakes all around. Great stuff. I feel appreciated for the first time. Oh, and Dolphin on production. Shout out Dolphin, the goat. Shout out Dolphin, as always, for keeping Highlander casting together. And that said, that's going to do it for us this week. Thank you all for watching. Tune in tomorrow and Wednesday for some sixes, as well as Monday for more Highlander season is coming to a close. You won't want to miss it. From me, Pickles, and Dolphin by the camera, thank you all for watching. We'll see you later.